I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We have seen compound angle formula and in many applications, we see compound angle for cosine where we need to find the value of cosine 2x, cosine 3x, cosine 6x and so on. In this particular video, we'll understand the strategy how to do such questions. We'll begin with the compound angle formula for cos a plus b, which is given right here. And then from here, we are going to prove the identities for cosines. First, we'll have cos of 2x, then cos of 3x, and then cos of 6x. I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question, and then check with my solution. So, so the formula, uh, compound angle formula for cosine a plus b is given to us. We'll work on that directly. Cos of a, cos of b minus sine a sine b, right? That is how you write cos a plus b. Now, to get cos of 2x, what do we do? We do a very simple substitution, and that is we will substitute, uh, let's say, a equals to b equals to x. So in that case, what happens? We get cos of x plus x equals to cos of x, cos of x minus sine of x sine of x and that is the first formula we actually get cos square x minus sine square x so i could add to this list of cos 2x also cos square x minus sine square x now how do we get this only in cosine and only in sine that is very important and then we will continue well we know cos square x plus sine square x is what it is one and using this we can get other two formulas right so if i make a substitution here writing first we want to get in cosine so splitting sine square x so we get cos square x minus 1 minus cos square x and that gives us 2 cos square x minus 1 we could have uh, also utilized splitting cos square x into 2 so let me do that now we could have written this as Let's change the ink for that. 1 minus sine square x minus sine square x. And in that case, we get that equal to 1 minus 2 sine square x. You get an idea. So from this stage, you could go either way. And get these results. Perfect. So we got formula for cos 2x and these are the variations, correct? Now let's look into cos 3x formula. So cos 3x, we could write this as cos of 2x plus x. So we could write this as, let's write cos 3x as equal to cos of 2x plus x, that is 3x. And we are going to expand this, writing this as cos of 2x, cos of x minus sine of 2x, sine of x. Now, using our double angle formulas, cos of 2x could be, we want everything in cosine. So, cos of 2x can be written as 2 cos square x minus 1 we're going to multiply this by cos of x minus sine 2x 
is actually written as 2 sin x cos x. I have not derived this formula here. You can look into my other videos on this. And then what we get here is we can open this bracket. So we get 2 cos cube x minus cos of x. So we have opened the bracket. So I'll remove it from here. Here we have 2 sine square x, right? So we have 2 sine square x times cos of x. So, so we'll rewrite. We get 2 cos cube x minus cos x. Writing sine square x as 1 minus cos square x, we get all the terms in cosine. And that could be written as 2 cos cube x minus cos x. Now open the brackets. We get 2 cos x minus and minus becomes plus 2 cos cube x. Combining the like terms, we get our result, which is 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x. Is that clear to you? So that is how we get our result. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Now, let's take the last example, which is how to expand cos 6x and get the result for this one now. So we'll definitely use the results already obtained. Cos 6x can be written as sum of 3x, right? So we could write this as cos of 3x plus 3x or 2 times 3x. We could use double angle formula or we could write cos 3x and cx. It's a better idea to use double angle formula at this particular stage. right? So 6x can be written as 2 times 3x. And then we are going to use the double angle formula, which is 2 cos square 2x minus 1. So which could be written as 2 cos of, so this term here will be 3x, right? Cos square 3x minus 1. So the formulas which we have combined here is cos 2x equals 2. 2 cos square x minus 1. Correct? So x was 3x. So we wrote this as 2 cos cube 3x minus 1. Now we remember the formula for cos 3x. So we could write this as 2 times square of cos of 3x and cos of 3x formula we just derived here, which is 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x. Correct? So we'll substitute that. 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x whole square minus 1. And now you can expand this using perfect square formula. And what do you get? Square of 4 is 16 cos of 6x minus 2ab, which means 24. Product of these two means cos to the power of 4x square of the last term here, which is plus 9 cos square x minus 1. And now we just need to open this bracket to get the result, which is 32 cos of 6x minus 48 cos to the power of 4x plus 18 cos square x minus 1. So that is how you are going to do it. So I hope it makes sense. This is probably the shortest way of getting the result. I hope you understand and appreciate it. So with that, we have done all the three derivations. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to post questions. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.